the meanest meanie is... <laughs> the Puzzler! <laughs> we all know that laugh. The Puzzler! Sort the puzzle out, the puzzle will sort you. Puzzler! Yes, it's me, and oh, what fun. You'll never guess what I've just done. I've trapped eight inside my bubble. Oh, no! And there he stays, while I make trouble. <laughs> oh, no! We haven't got eight to help us. But at least we're here to help. Yes. We're going to need all the help we can get. The puzzler's making people do things in different silly ways. What else might he do? <coughs> a man could be painting a room. Then the puzzler makes him do it different silly ways. Maybe with his feet. Or maybe another silly way is just throwing the paint. Or he might get the dancing cow in and get the cow to dance the paint on the walls. <laughs> All different ways to paint a room, but not very good ways. The puzzler's got to stop what he's doing. We're all here to help, Five. We've got to stop the puzzler. Stop puzzler, yes. I might stop. Help! And let your friend go free, if you listen carefully. We're listening. Here's the challenge for you today. Can you make eight three different ways? We've got to make eight three different ways. One way of making eight is by adding two numbers together. OK, start with my number. And what other number do we need to add to make eight? One! Yes! Come on, Buddy Blocks! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven! And one more... makes eight! Get ready to start the Brain Game Machine! Brain game, brain game, to solve the problem Use our brain, all way to get your brains all linking up together Join up thinking, getting brain power now, brain game! Seven and one add up to eight Sending brain game <laughs> we found one way of making eight. Seven and one make eight. Seven and one make eight, as you say. Now, can you do it a different way? Me, me. Two wants to join in. Oh, oh hey, two could add his blocks to mine to make eight. Yes, yes. No, we've already made eight by adding. This time it's got to be a different way. Oh. If you don't find a different way, old Puzzly here's got games to play. That's a very different way of drinking. And I've got a different way of making eight. Instead of adding a buddy block, let's take away instead. Come on, buddy blocks. Nine buddy blocks and take one away. That leaves one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, we made eight by taking one away from nine. Another way of making eight. Keep going, four. 
You found two ways, but you need three. Till then, let's do things weirdly. <gasps> We've added, we've taken away. How else can we make eight? We can help. You only make two. We need lots more than that. Oh. That's it. You can make eight with lots of twos. One lot of two is two, and another lot of two makes four. And another lot of two makes six. Nearly getting there. So how many lots of two do we need? Two. Your lot of body blocks go first. Oh, yes! One lot of two. Another lot of two makes four. Three lots of two makes six. And a fourth lot of two makes eight. In you go! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes! Sending brain gain. <laughs> Four lots of two make eight. <laughs> Thanks, Four. Everybody helped. Well, my friends, you've done just great. Three different ways of making eight. First it was add, then take away. Four lots of two was another way. You win. See you all another day. <laughs> Bye, Puzzler. Let's sort everything out. Yes. Four and eight. a very long time to dig a hole. It was all the puzzler's fault. And he had eight in a bubble. We had to find three ways of making the number eight. You can add seven and one more makes eight. Or you can take away. Nine take away one is eight. Or you can make eight with four lots of twos. And eight was free. Bye-bye, puzzler. <laughs> OK, Eight, I got into the circle by sliding. I did it by jumping. Way! And I did it by slipping and crashing. Whoa! Can you think of a different way to get into the circle? Hmm. How about... Rolling. Brilliant. All different ways. I wonder, can you think of different ways for making my number? You can make it any way you like. Adding, take away, lots of, anyway. And then, call the number jacks. Puzzler, up to your tricks again. Yes, I have got a puzzle for you. You've got some finding out to do. What is the problem for the waitress? You'd better come up with a great guess. It's the same problem for the teacher. Find what it is, or I will beat you. <laughs> Agents, why is it the same problem for the waitress and the teacher? The thing is, they both don't know enough. The waitress doesn't know who has ordered what food, and the teacher doesn't know how many children want football and how many want television. I get it! Both of them need the right information. The waitress needs information about the food people want, 
And the teacher needs information about what the children want to do. And the puzzler's bubbles are making everything go wild. So getting the information is impossible. Oh, dear. Without the right information, anything could happen. <coughs> At the zoo, if they didn't have the right information about what animals like to eat, they might give leaves to the seals and throw fish to the giraffes. Or you might go shopping and not know what things you need and what you don't need. You might buy anything. Or people in a factory might not have the information on how to make a car and make it completely wrong. People definitely need the right information to know what to do. OK, that's worked out the first part of the puzzler's puzzle. Oh, so you've worked it out, have you? OK, four, just tell me, do. The waitress and the teacher need information to help them do the right thing. Correct. Oh, now here's challenge number two. How can the waitress know what to do? <laughs> Anybody? Any ideas? How can the waitress remember what food to give to people? Maybe she could write it down. Great idea. Trouble is... <laughs> the puzzle has bubbled her pad and pencil. Is there any other way she could remember what food is needed? Maybe she could use the bits of the menu. Yes! Use the little pictures of the food to remind her what food to bring. That's what we need to tell her. I'll get the brain game machine going. We've got to make sure she can remember the information she needs. Use pictures of food to remember the information. Use the little pictures to remember the information. She's going to get the orders. <laughs> the boy wants a pizza. The girl wants spaghetti. And their dad wants pizza too. Oh, yes. She knows she needs two pizzas and one spaghetti. The waitress has got the information she needs to bring the right food. You'd better go and sort the teacher. OK. How's the teacher getting on? Oh, dear. Not very well. Is there anything she could use to show who wants what? I wonder, is there anything she could do with these cards? I'm sure they could be used somehow. Some of them are round. Some of them are rectangular. That reminds me of something. I know. The teacher could use the cards for voting. How? The ones who want football can show a round card. Putting it on screen. A round card means you want football. And the ones who want television can vote with a rectangular card. A rectangular card means you want television. Brilliant. Let's send them the idea. Use cards to show what you want to do. Use cards to vote! She's getting things sorted. She's going to get the information. They're going to vote. That's one vote for television. And one vote for football. Who's going to win? So we've got a record of what everyone wants. And as you can see, there are more votes for football. The teacher has the information yes. she needs. And the ones who wanted television don't mind, because they can see for themselves there's more votes for football. We've beaten the puzzler's challenge. 
Oh, once again you're out of trouble. So off I go, me and my bubbles. <laughs> Come back now, Thor. Managed to beat the puzzler again. All thanks to having the right information. And it's all on screen. The waitress didn't know what food the people had ordered. She didn't have the information. And the teacher didn't know what was more popular, football or television. But the waitress kept a record of what food was needed by using little pictures of food. And the children made a record of what they wanted by voting for it. Football got the most votes. And that's how we beat the puzzler. Hi, Six. We've been having a go on the jump pad. I bet you can't work out which of us has had the most goes. Well, I'll try. I think I can work it out. Can you see from the record who has had the most goes? And who has had only one go? And who should go next? And then maybe you could make your own record of something that you do. And call the number jacks. What do you want, Puzzler? Time to play a little game. Today the problems aren't the same. We know that. Each problem is a different kind, and there are three things you must find. What is the problem? How to fix it? And then just check that you have fixed it. We can do that. You cannot say it's all correct until you've said what, how, check. <laughs> say what's the problem? How to fix it? Then check we have. We can do that. Got the boy? And his strange breakfast. What sort of problem is it? He's got lots of balls, but one cornflake. He's got the wrong number of things. That's what the problem is. A number problem. We can fix it with brain gain. Brain gain, brain gain to solve the problem. Use our brains. There's a way to get your brains all linking up together. Joined up thinking. Getting brain power now. Brain gain. We'll make it one bowl. And 50 cornflakes. That's how we'll solve it. One bowl. One bowl. 50 cornflakes. I don't think that's enough. 50 more cornflakes. Did the trick. Great. Next problem, the ladies' hat and shoes. I'm on my way. The ladies on screen. What's the problem here? She's got the right number of things. One hat and two shoes. They're too big or too small. The wrong size. This is a size problem. How are you going to fix it? Make the hat smaller and the shoes bigger. Hat smaller, shoes bigger. OK, off to sort the man. Going off? Oh, no, you're not, because there's something you forgot. We've sorted out the problems with the boy and with the lady. You did just what I'd expect. You did the jobs, but never checked. Oh, no! Got the boy on screen. We said 50 more cornflakes and didn't tell the brain game to stop. OK, we need a hundred cornflakes. A hundred and no more! That sorted it. You sure? Checking. Yes, the right number of cornflakes. Check. Here's something else you didn't check. You've made this lady's life a wreck. 
Oh no! What went wrong this time? We said get bigger to the zoos, but we didn't say when to stop. We said to make the hat smaller, but we didn't stop that either. The hat needs to fit the lady's head. And the shoes need to fit her feet. Hat fits head, shoes fit feet. Yes, they look the right size. Check. OK. What? How? Check. If we don't remember the magic words, anything could happen. What sort of problem is eight spiders with one leg? A number problem. How to fix it? Make it one spider and eight legs. And check. Right number of legs for a spider. Problem solved. What's the problem? Wrong size basket. How to fix it? Make the basket bigger. Check. Basket big enough. Problem solved. The house was here. Now it's here. What is the problem? Wrong place. How to fix it? Right place. Check. House in right place. Problem solved. Got to remember. What? How? Check. But for man. What's the problem? It's a place problem. Those trousers are in the wrong place. And so is he. And so is his sandwich. How do we solve it? Put everything in the right place at once. Especially his trousers. And check. Everything in the right place. Problem solved. Come back now, Five. No, there's still a problem. The puzzler. I've had enough of being one. Now, now I, can I can have, have two, two lots of fun. Whoa. And we've, and we've won one more small, small surprise. surprise. How do you How like, do you like us? us? Super surprise. Oh, no. And here's and a, little a little something, something for you. you. Watch, Watch out, five. five. We're, We're coming, coming for you. you. No. Quick, what have we got here? The wrong number of puzzlers. And they're the wrong size. And we don't want them in this place. One puzzler. Ooh. Very small. Well, hey, that was a big surprise. And different place. Guess it's time I said bye-bye. Are you sure he's gone, Five? Check. He's gone. Then come on back. All clear for landing. One, two, three, four, five! Didn't like two puzzlers. That was weird. And we've got them both on screen. The boy had the wrong number of bowls and cornflakes. And the lady had the wrong size of hat and shoes. And the man's lunch was in the wrong place. And so was the man. The puzzler said we had to say what, how, check. Check. Got the size right. Check. And got the place right. Check. And sorted the puzzler. Size. And place. Check. Yes! Think of the three words. How, what, check. And see if you can find your own problem. A number problem. Or a size problem. Or a place problem. And call the number jacks. Hooray! So we know what the problem is. But we don't know what caused it. I'm sure we'll find out. Well, we've certainly found something. I'm the puzzler. Look at me. You might learn from what you see. We're looking. 
Get ready for a strange surprise. Watch my mouth and nose and eyes. Everything in its right place inside the circle of my face. Now this is a strange thing to do. But maybe somehow it's a clue. It's a bit of a hard clue. Here's where things were found before. But now I've moved them. That's for sure. See you later. The puzzler has made things on his face go outside. And that's making everything else go outside instead of inside. Like the man and his car. He's trying to get in his car. Oh no! He wants to get inside and go home, but he keeps popping out. We got to help this man. And if we don't solve this problem, anything could happen. As well as your tongue, your teeth might pop out and chase you. And when you're warm and cozy in bed, you might get popped out of bed. And your whole bedroom might be popped outside. Let's sort this problem out. Oh no, you can't. Oh no! It's a puzzle bubble! What do we know about the puzzler and bubbles? I'm searching for info on the puzzler. Let me tell you what I'm talking about. The puzzler, the puzzler, he's got a twist in mind. His bubbles be trouble if you get trapped inside. You better stop thinking if the puzzler has caught you. Cause if you can sort the puzzle out, the puzzler will sort you. Three and five are trapped inside the puzzle bubble. Who did this? Well, who did this? Now let me see. Oh, I remember. It was me! And now, my friends, you are in trouble. You're trapped inside my puzzle bubble. We're not scared of you, puzzle bubble. Aren't we? Tell us your puzzle and we'll soon burst your bubble. I hope your brains are working well. Will you succeed? Well, time will tell. Look at these numbers. You will see we're missing one. What can it be? Work it out and then tell me, or never, ever will you go free. Come on. What number goes in the middle? I don't know. What number? What number? Don't panic. We need some help. Agent's ringing in. Look at it carefully. Look at the puzzle one bit at a time. What are the numbers on each line? Don't let the puzzle worry you. But be quick. I have to hurry you. Quick! In, in the top line, there's a one and a two and a three. And in the bottom line, there's a... Three, a one, and a two. All the numbers as well. So what's missing in the middle line? I know. Hey, Mr. Puzzler. Yes? Yeah, um, I know what it's got to be. That number's three. That number's me. <laughs> Case. That's better. Another of my puzzles is solved. So till next time I'll say so long. What a very strange person. You can come back now, three and five.
Old Cliff for landing. One, two, three, four, five! Well done, 3 and 5. You sorted the problems out. And the puzzler. Remember for next time. Those pens are a bit silly. <laughs> so was I. Well, that man was very silly. Everything that should be inside was outside. <laughs> Could be a whole new look. Oh, that puzzler was a bit scary. And we were stuck in a puzzle bubble. But we sorted him out. There was a three missing from the middle line. Not the knob. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Did the trick. Not everything sorted in this place. Oh no. You said you'd tidy it up. Oh. Outside, back, inside. Okay, agents. Keep your eyes open for things that are inside something else. How many different things can you find? Any problems? Call the number jack. Puzzler! Well, hello there, number six. Here's a problem for you to fix. I'm making things go big or small. They cover too much or not much at all. <laughs> We've got a problem. Yes. With the puzzler, anything could happen. If you had a lid on a box, it might get much too small or much too huge. Or you might put a stamp on a postcard and the stamp becomes so small the postman wouldn't see it. Or so big the postman couldn't carry it. Or you might be sticking a sticker in a book and the sticker gets tiny. Or it gets so huge it sticks you to the book. <laughs> Puzzler has got to be stopped. Six is on his way. Puzzler, you've got to stop changing the size of things. I will agree to your request if you can pass my little test. <laughs> Two sheets of paper. What's your call? Which one's bigger? Which one's small? That's easy. You can see which one's bigger. You can't just say... You have to show. Or oh, here's my bubble, and in you'll go. Oh no. How do we show which shape is bigger? Agents, any ideas? Agent 99 here. You can put them close together so you can see which is bigger. Or even better, put one on top of the other. That sounds good. Six, we're sending you Brain Gain to help. Let's do it. Brain game, brain game to solve the problem. Use our brain, always to get your brains all linking up together. Joined up thinking, getting brain power now. Brain game. Sending brain game to show which sheet of paper is bigger. Sending brain game. <laughs> OK, Puzzler, we'll show which is bigger. If the red sheet is bigger, it will cover the blue one. It doesn't. But if I put the blue one on top, it does cover the red one. The blue is bigger, and we've shown it. Oh, all right then, I suppose so. But how about those, though? Oh. It's much harder to say which is bigger. Neither of them completely covers the other one. We can't show which is bigger. If you don't, I'll cause more trouble and you'll end up inside my bubble. <laughs> How can we show which is bigger? Any ideas? We need something to measure the shapes. What could measure those shapes? I wish I had my buddy tiles with me. Maybe you could use some other shapes from the display. Yes, I could use them like my buddy tiles. <laughs> 
lots of shapes. Their size the same. Okay then, Six, let's play the game. Yes, Puzzler. These shapes are all the same size. And I need... One, two, three tiles to cover the blue shape. Hmm. Now the red shape. One, two, three, four tiles to cover the red shape. So the red shape is bigger because it needs more tiles. Hooray! Well, my friend, I like your style, measuring with your same size tiles. But measuring these will wipe your smile. They're really hard to measure. You can do it, Six. OK, then. We need... One, two, three, four tiles to cover the red shape. And one, two, three, four, five tiles to cover the blue shape. So, the blue shape needs more tiles, so it's bigger. And we've shown it. Huh. That sorted you out, Puzzler. A number who knows how to measure. Hmm, it almost gives the puzzler pleasure. You've shown the things you had to show. And now it's time for me to go. <laughs> Don't forget to put things back to normal, Six. Here's some brain game to help. <laughs> Come back now, Six. Checking the room. Six. Everyone helped. You showed that puzzler he can't beat the number jacks. And we've got it all on screen. The girl's bed cover was too small. And then it was too big. The teacher was covering the table, but it was too small. Then it was much too huge. It was that mean old puzzler making trouble. We showed which shape was bigger. The blue one covered the red one, so it was bigger. The yellow tiles measured those shapes. Three tiles for the blue shape. Four tiles for the red shape. Bigger. And those shapes. Four tiles cover the red shape. But five tiles needed to cover the blue one, so it was bigger. And that sorted the puzzler. Hooray! <laughs> I can do it! I can do it! Brilliant, Five. Buddy tiles are great for flying on. And even better for measuring, even if sometimes they try to measure the wrong things. <laughs> you can't measure me! I'm not flat enough! I'm not ticklish! <laughs> Why don't you do some measuring? Find something flat to measure and use cards or dominoes and see how many you need. Find out and call the number jacks. If the puzzler's making things change from one to two to three, anything could happen. You might be walking along with a bag on your back and it would become two bags, then three really heavy bags. Or you might mm. have a bowl of lovely soup and it becomes two bowls of not very nice soup or three bowls of horrible soup. Or you might have a dream about one scary monster and it becomes two scary monsters or three monsters. Ooh. Someone's got to stop that puzzler. Here I am. Yeah! I'm causing trouble. Watch out, Three. Here comes my bubble. Come on, Three. Come on. Run. 
Oh, watch out! The bubble's catching up! Oh no, she's been chased into the pattern place! Oh no! I don't like this place! I want to get out! Well, maybe I will let that happen if you can find the special pattern. Find the pattern, it's one, two, three, but you are not allowed to see. That's not fair. How can I find a pattern if I can't see? Ha, 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 ha. You're mean. Ha. Ha 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 Maybe it's not looking you have to do. Maybe you've got to listen. Yes, listen to find the pattern. Ha 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 ha. One laugh, then two, then three. Next. Nine squares for us to fill in. Oh, no! If I get most squares, then I will win. Three might need some help. Nine squares. Get number nine, quick! I'll find her. I'll go first. Why? Because I want to. And my numbers are one, two. Then I'll say three. Yes! I've found nine. What are you doing? I've just made sure this cat has got all its nine lives. Three needs you. Three, I'm on my way. Well now, three, how did you do? You've got one square, but I've got two. Now what goes here? Can you predict? What is the number you should pick? Uh, uh... It's four! It's four! Yeah, four. Ah! Uh... Too slow, it's four. One more to me, and I'll have five. You're losing three. I can fill in the next square. We've had one, two, three. She's panicking. Four, five. Six, six. Six. Yes. Now I've got four squares, whoopity woo. Dear me, three, that will not do. Now which square shall I fill in? Cause I need just one square to win. We've got to win all the rest. What's the next number going to be? One, two, three, four, five, six. It's got to be seven. It's seven. Oh, you're so clever, to be sure. But I need just one square more. It's, it's eight, 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 eight. It's eight, eight. It's four squares each. Ooh, the excitement's at its peak. But now, young three, you cannot speak. <laughs> What number is it? Nine. Sorry, three. I'm afraid you're mumbling. So sorry how your cookie's crumbling. The number is nine. Don't you forget it. Seven, eight, nine. We've got more squares and we've won. Hooray! Boo. Now three and nine. Yes, please. All clear for landing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Well done, three. Nine saved me. We've got it on screen. One, two, three hats. Then the same pattern with the balls. And 
and the hammers. It was all that puzzler's fault. And he chased me into the pattern place. Uh, there were one, uh, two, uh, three uh, laughs. Uh, uh, and then the number puzzle. The puzzler nearly won. Lucky I called for nine. Only too happy to help. Watch me, Nine. I'm watching. This time, we're going to do it. One, two, three. Yes! Excellent work, one, two and three. And your buddy blocks. I wonder if we could do all the numbers from zero to nine. Well, can you out there find something that is like the puzzler's number square? With a square of numbers, one to nine? Try to find something and call the number jack. Why are there seven of everything? We've got to think. I'll tell you, shall I? Save you the trouble. Seven is trapped inside my bubble. Oh no! Help! Help! Oh no! Solve this puzzle or there she stays. What? What is the puzzle? You must make seven two different ways. Make seven two different ways? I can't even make seven one way. You can make seven with a bit of brain game from me. What does three mean? How can she help me to make seven? I'm three. And you're four. So together, we make seven. Sending more brain games. Three and four make seven. Hmm, seems you've got a bit of brain. You've made seven once, now do it again. Quick, another way of making seven. What about the mopping things? That was one and six more make seven. Come on, one. We've got some brain game to send. One and six make seven. Sending more brain game. One and six make seven. Oh, thanks, everyone. Well, there we are. We had such fun. Oh, yeah. Fun. Now everything goes back to one. And all the things that were three more. All those things go back to four. Curses! Another of my puzzles solved. So till next time, I'll say... So long. Come on back, Four. Thanks, Four. I'm off doing my painting job. See you later. That was a bit of an adventure. We got it all on screen. That car started it all. Three extra wheels to make it seven. But not as funny as the man with the mops and everyone. That was crazy. All those things making seven. And here's trouble. The puzzler. He's a bit scary. And it was a tricky puzzle. Two ways to make seven. We did it though. Three and four make seven. One and six make seven. Yeah! <laughs> Luckily, we only had to find two ways of adding up to seven. Yeah, we'd never have found another way of adding up to seven. Hard enough to remember two ways of adding up to seven. Yes, thank you, Dice. I can see three spots. 
That's funny. I can see four spots on this side. Weird. Three and four, two numbers that make seven. On opposite sides of the dice. I bet the dice couldn't tell you the other numbers that make seven, though. Well, I don't know. You better check that out. Can a dice help you find three different ways of adding up to seven? Check it out and call the number, Jack. Oh, that puzzler! There were four things that once were full. Bottle, tub, sand pit bowl. Some held more and some held less. Put them in order. That's your test. Wow, that's tricky. How do we put the things in order? You've got to know which one holds the biggest amount. And which one holds the smallest amount? And which ones come in between? Let's fill them up again. See how much it takes to fill them. I'll get the brain game going. <laughs> brain game, brain game to solve the problem. Use our brain. No way to get your brains all linking up together. Join up thinking. Getting brain power now. Brain game. Machines ready! Fill them up! Everything filled up so quickly we couldn't tell which holds the most. Or which holds the least. So we can't put them in order and solve the puzzle. While my problem gives you trouble, three stays trapped inside my bubble. Help! But I feel kind today, and so I'll give you all just one more go. We've only got one more chance to rescue three. How can we work it out? Fill them up bit by bit, see how many bits you need. Right. The more jumps of brain gain I have to do, the more the thing holds. I'll keep count of the jumps. OK, five. Start with the bottle. Fire away. One. Two. That's full. The bottle took two jumps of brain gain to fill. The ice cream tub next. One, two, three, four, full. Took four. Ready for the bowl. One. That's full. Now the sand pit. One, two, three, four, five. It's going to take loads. Nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, thirty-nine, forty, fifty-five, fifty-six, seventy-five, seventy-six, seventy-seven, seventy-eight, seventy-nine, ninety-nine, a hundred, full. Well done. <sighs> well, the sand pit definitely took the most jumps. A hundred! So that's the biggest. The ice cream tub took four jumps, so that's next. The bottle took two jumps. And the bowl took just one jump, so that's the smallest. So the order is... Bowl smallest, then bottle, then tub, then sand pit. Definitely the biggest! Puzzle solved, you win, and so three is free, and off I go. But I'll be back. Are you all right, Three? I think so. Don't worry, you're safe now. Come back now, Three and Five. All clear for landing. One, two, three, four, five! It's good to be back. You should have stayed close to five. I know. I won't do it again. Sorry. Never mind. We sorted that puzzler out, didn't we? On the screen now. The bottle was full, then empty. Same with the sand pit. And the ice cream tub. It was that puzzler, up to no good. Three went off on her own. And the puzzler bubbled me. His puzzle was quite tricky. The things that needed most brain gain held the most. One for the bowl, 
two for the bottle, four for the ice cream tub, and a hundred for the sand pit. We got them all in order. And the puzzler had to let three go. Safe at last. So whatever happens, you don't go wandering off by yourselves. I don't think my body blocks would go off on their own. Especially since I got them their new home. New home? Yes, look. That's much cosier, isn't it? They fill it right to the top. What's the smallest thing that gets filled up in your home? And what's the biggest? Find out and call the number jacks. You've done quite well, I suppose it's true, but I've got one more puzzle for you. Can you guess what people will do when it's red, red, blue, red, red, blue? It's ringing in. If the pattern changes, what people do will change. Red, red, blue, red, red, blue. That's how they'll do things. Two of one thing, then one of the other. Final answer? Well, let's see if that is what the pattern will be. Red, red, blue, knife, knife, fork. What will the cuckoo clock do? Red, red, blue. <laughs> OK, Puzzler, are you happy now? There's one more game for you to play, but first you must turn your face away. Let's add a little mystery. I move the pieces, but you can't see. Check what people do, and then tell me, in what pattern must the pieces be? Everyone look at what's happening and see what the pattern is. Knife, knife, fork, fork. Five. The pattern is two of one thing and two of the other thing. OK. So let me think. What will the pattern pieces be? It's two of one and another two. Red, red, blue, blue, red, red, blue, blue. Ah, uh, yes, you're right. Indeed, that's true. Two reds, two blues is what they do. But not anymore. We're putting things back to normal once and for all. Brain game, back to normal. Red, blue, red, blue. Red, blue, red, blue, red, blue. Red, blue, red, blue, red, blue. Knife, then a fork. Knife, then fork. You number jacks, you are a pain. You've gone and beaten me again. Yes, you've lost, so off you go. I'll be back again, you know. <laughs> yes! Now come back, five. All clear for landing. One, two, three, four, five! Well done, five. Well done, all of us. Check it out on screen. That boy couldn't walk properly. And things weren't going well in the cafe. And it was the puzzler causing all the trouble. That was a weird place. There are the pattern pieces making things go wrong. We sorted them out again, but we had more puzzles to solve. We knew what people would do when the pattern pieces changed. And then we worked out the pattern by watching what people did. And we beat the puzzler! Hooray! Would you like another game for? That depends. Are we taking turns properly? I think a good pattern for our game would be pink, 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 blue. And I'll be pink. I don't think so. Look, 
Oh! To make sure we don't get it wrong, the buddy box have made the pattern. We take turns. Fair enough. Let's do it. Glad that buddy block pattern sorted things out. And can you find a pattern like the buddy blocks? Two colours taking turns? If you can, or any problems, call the number jack. Yes, your friend Nine's inside my bubble. You've captured Nine? Where is she? Tell us. I won't tell you until I see. Not six and three, but three, three and three. <laughs> well, I'm three. But I'm six. How can we be three, three and three? Sending out an alert. How can three and six become three, three and three? Anyone who can help us, call in now. Hurry. Agents calling in. You need three threes. Three is the first one. Six has got to change into the other two threes. Can he do that? Yes, remember his buddy blocks. I'll rerun that on screen. Yes, that's six buddy blocks turning into two lots of three. Six can do it. Six, we've got some good news and some bad news. What is it? We know how to solve the puzzle. Good. And the bad news? You've got to turn into two threes. What? You've got to do it. We'll send you Brain Game to help. OK. If it's got to be done, I, number six, will become two number threes. You'll love it. Brain Game, Brain Game, to solve the problem, use our brain. No way to get your brains all linking up together, joined up thinking. Getting Brain Power now, Brain Game. Six makes two threes. Ring game coming. Six makes two threes. Oh. Wow. You look different. We feel different. Yes, we do. Oh, hello, three and three and three. What exactly do you need from me? Tell us where nine is, or there'll be trouble. Number nine's here. Help, help! Trapped in my bubble. My friends, she stays in there till nine small squares make one big square. Anyone got any information about squares? A square is this shape. All the sides are the same length. Checking the napkins. They're square. All the sides are the same length. You need to get to the cafe. We're on our way. Let's hope they can make them into one big square. There's nine napkins. How can we make them into one big square? Remember the buddy blocks. I think I've got a picture. Yes, that's one big square. Three lots of three. Do it with the napkins. Three rows of three. Make that square. I'll do one row. I'll do the second row. I'll do the bottom row. That's nine small squares. Three rows of three makes one big square. Oh, well done, three and three and three. You've made a square and beaten me. So, as I promised, nine goes free. That's better. But I'll be back. <laughs> and things are going back to normal. Yeah! Come back now, all of you. One thing to do first. Definitely. Two threes make a six. Two threes make six. Yeah! Come on back now, all of you.
everyone. You can see it all on screen. The boy had three things, then nine. The waitress had trouble, and the lady. It was all that puzzler's fault. And I had a very strange thing to do. Six becoming two threes. We had to make a big square. You rescued me. Thank you. And everything went back to normal. Hooray! Would your body blocks like another ride three? Yes, please. And my body blocks can join in too. Let's go. Two big squares. I wonder, is there any other number of buddy blocks that could be made into a square? Find out. Or any problems? Contact the number jacks. <laughs>